Hey everyone, this is Stefan from ProjectLifeMastery.com and in this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about attending live events. Attending live seminars, attending live workshops, attending live retreats, uh, attending live experiences, and how it can really help you to transform your life at a much deeper level. Now, I think it's great to read books. I think it's great to watch YouTube videos. I think it's great to uh, listen to podcasts and audiobooks and to read blog articles. I think those are all fantastic ways to learn, to grow, to shift your mindset, your mentality, but it's nothing like attending a live event and the transformation that you can experience and that can occur by fully immersing yourself in an environment. Because when you change your environment and you get outside from your house, your comfort zone or wherever you are right now when you consume the content online or through a book or whatever it might be, when you get outside of that environment and you put yourself in a new environment that is positive, that is supportive, that is conducive in supporting you to achieve the outcomes that you want in your life, by being in that environment and fully immersing yourself, that's where the biggest transformation and breakthrough occurs because you're getting away from your comfort zone. You're getting away from you know where you currently live and how you live your life and the patterns that you have, the beliefs that you have associated to that environment, you're put into a new one that is uncomfortable, that is maybe a little bit challenging or unknown or uncertain in some way, and you're immersed where you have no distractions whatsoever and you have to play full out and you have to push yourself, that's when you really transform. That's when you're really gonna grow the most because you know, if you go to a seminar and if you were in the room that I'm in right now and you're sitting right here in front of me listening to me speak to you, directly to you, there's a lot more power in that. There's a lot more impact in that of how you're going to receive the advice or the information that I might give you. The energy that I have is going to get transferred onto you and through you at a much deeper level. I'm going to be able to influence or persuade or shift your beliefs, your mentality, your mindset at a much deeper level as well. Then on top of it, you're not just watching something for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes or reading a book for 30 minutes through spaced repetition. That's a great way to learn. Don't get me wrong. But when you're immersed and you're in that environment, you're listening to someone speak for eight hours straight, for two days, for three days, for four days, for a week in that environment, that's when you're gonna make the biggest and the deepest shifts and integrations in your life. You know, I just did a seminar here this last weekend and we had people that flew in and came from all over the world. And I don't do seminars very often. You have to be on my email list to be notified of them and because they get sold out just like that, they get filled up fast. There's a lot of demand uh, that uh, people want me to do seminars and events but I don't have as much time to be able to do it. Unfortunately, and I like to do even smaller, more intimate events too than really big ones, so I can have a chance to meet people and everything. But we just did a seminar here, and these are people that you know follow me on YouTube and consume my social media content and been customers and different products and courses that I have. And you know, it's just really eye-opening to me how much more powerful an event really is. Because one, for all the people that came, you know, this whole thing, you know, just them consuming content from me and just even receiving from me became much more real and powerful for them. You know, all of a sudden I was a real person, you know, not just somebody that was online. And sometimes when you read a book or you watch a video of someone or read an article, there's a bit of a disassociation there because um, they're away from you in the distance and th there's, no, there's no energy or presence really associated with that because unfortunately technology does have some limitations to it. Whereas when you actually are there and you actually meet the person and you actually see who they are and how they are and you actually get to feel their heart and their presence and I get to feel theirs, it is a much deeper connection that happens there and a deeper level of transformation because they're receiving what I'm sharing at a much deeper level. And then I think the other main benefit from that too is that you're in an environment where you actually have to do the exercises, right? You know, sometimes in the video you're just getting information, but there's no practical, actionable exercise or something for you to act on. Whereas in a, a seminar environment, you're taught something and then there's an exercise or an assignment, and you're gonna take out your pen and paper, your journal, you're gonna write it down, you're gonna really integrate 
what it is that you're learning at a much deeper level as well. And then you're going to share with the person next to you. You're going to connect with them. And by sharing it, you're going to have different insights and breakthroughs. And then on top of it, you're meeting other people that are like-minded. They're on the same path as you. And oftentimes people say, Stefan, how do I meet other people that are similar to, uh, to myself or on the same path as self-development? How do I find an accountability buddy? How do I join a mastermind group or be a part of one or create one? And for most people, they have an environment in their existing life that's not supportive, that's not positive, that's not conducive to the life they really want. And so that's why you've got to put yourself in environments where you can find and be around other like-minded people on the same path. You know, I remember for myself, you know, when you when I went to a seminar the first time, I felt like I was home. I was like, wow, I'm in an environment where like people actually get, they actually get it. You know, they, they don't think I'm crazy, you know, they don't think I'm weird. They're just as crazy and weird as myself. They're just as committed as myself. They're just as uh, obsessed with self-development and growing. We've read the same books and we've run into the same things. And, and, and when you actually talk to the people like that and you feel their positivity, their love, their energy, and, and they're supportive of you, they're, 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 you share ideas and exchange concepts and they get it and you can each relate to one another. And then in doing so, you develop these incredible relationships with people from all over the world that become your, your best friends. You know, the best friends that I have in my life are people that I've met at seminars. Either seminars, events that I've hosted, or that I've attended, or we just attended the same events and we kept seeing each other, and then we became uh, even more friends, deeper friends. I've got friends all over the world. I go to seminars, I'm gonna run into them, I'm gonna see them, people that I've met before. And it's like a family, it's like a community that you're a part of that is powerful and supportive. And it's unlike anything else out there because it's very challenging to overcome your environment. You know, if you've got friends and family that are negative and don't believe in you and they doubt you and you try to share your goals, your success, your wins, your accomplishments with them, they put you down, they make fun of you, they think you're weird, you know, they're not on the same page or they just don't get it, then that's very challenging to overcome. You're gonna spend so much energy trying to change others or trying to ignore all of the negativity or their beliefs and override that, which is very hard as well because as human beings, we will do things, we, we shape our beliefs and our values based on the love from others. You know, Other people will influence us subconsciously because of their beliefs just because we don't want to lose their love. We have a connection, a bond with them. And who you spend time with is who you become. Who you surround yourself with is going to influence you more than anything. So you better choose to surround yourself with people that are positive and supportive and, 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 and ha, you know, are, are on the same path as you and be around that. You know, that's what I choose to do. Those are the people that I have in my life. Those are the people that I surround myself with. I cut out the negativity. I cut out you know, the, 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 the haters and the critics and people like that. They don't have a place in my life because I want to build an environment of love and support and encouragement and, and uh, of success and positivity and fun. And that's the kind of environment that I've chosen to surround myself with. And when you got that ecosystem, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable at a much different level because everything is supporting you and the vision that you want for your life. Okay? Now, my message is there's so many benefits I can go into for seminars and events, the benefit of attending them. I attend several throughout the year. You guys can go back and see reviews that I've done and goals that I've had, or I always try to attend seminars every few months. Um, you know, every three months, sometimes more than that, to be honest with you, I attend events and seminars. One of my favorite ways to learn, because again, I'm immersing myself, you get incredible energy from that too. You get this high. Now, of course, when you attend a seminar, that is, you get this high, it doesn't last, right? Like it, it kind of dwindles down, and that's part of growth too. That's a part of anything. You get a new car, a new house, you get a high, a new relationship. Whatever it is, there's a high, it kind of goes down. And that's why you have to keep doing things to maintain that momentum and also keep putting yourself in those environments, okay? I wanna make that clear. That's a normal thing from any seminar or any experience of life. It's called the law of familiarity, and especially when you go from one environment to another, that, again, is gonna influence you in a lot of different ways. Now, um, I attend a lot of events. There's free events you can go to. There's free meetup groups at meetup.com. There's free seminars. Understand that a lot of free events 
they have to make money somehow and so they're gonna have a pitch or they're gonna sell something at the event because it's expensive to, to put together an event. Uh, you gotta have a, an event space, you have to have staff and, and registration and there's a lot that goes into it, marketing the event and everything too to get people to, sign, uh, to come out to it. And then all, you know they gotta make money so they're gonna sell something, right? So they're gonna have a pitch at the event. Also, you're not gonna get the best content, you're gonna get the free content the more premium content you're gonna to have to pay for uh, in the product, the service, or the event that they're gonna sell. Okay, so understand that if you go to a free event. Um, but you're gonna meet some great people, like-minded people at those events. And then there's paid events, events that you pay for. You pay to attend those events. The more that you pay, oftentimes, the more value that you're gonna get, the more quality content, the more premium content that you're gonna get from that. Now, for me personally, I never attend free events. I never attend free seminars. I started that way at the beginning, but not anymore because um, the kind of people you're gonna meet at the event is gonna depend on the price of the event. So if you go to a free event, oftentimes you're gonna get a lot of people that are newbies at something. A lot of people that unfortunately, I hate to say, are more dabblers um, that don't really act or implement or haven't really achieved much success for themselves. Um, so you're gonna find people more like that at those events, but you're gonna find still some great people that are like-minded on the same path. When you start paying for events, you're gonna attract a higher quality type of person, someone that is more committed to mastery, someone that is willing to invest in themselves, that values themselves, somebody that is more successful, that's getting better results. Um, I pay for events that are a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars, five thousand, even up to ten thousand dollars for some of the events that I attend. Of course, the more that you pay, five to ten thousand dollars, I'm meeting people that are seven figure, eight figure millionaires in their business doing incredible things. Um, and you, you really connect with those people out there. Like I've made certain relationships and connections from events that have made me so much money in my business and really changed my life in so many different ways and people that have become friends uh, of mine as well. So um, I believe that the more that you pay, the more you pay attention, the more value you get from it too in the sense where you're gonna take it more seriously, you're gonna play full out more, you're gonna take more notes, you're gonna take more action with it, it's gonna mean more to you. Uh, for me, like the free events, you might find yourself not even showing up on time and not even caring as much and not taking notes from it and you're not gonna take as much action from that as opposed to the event that you had to travel to, you had to you know, really get to, and you had to pay money for to attend, you're gonna take that much more seriously than something that you might just go to for free. Okay, so different mentality with that. I would recommend paying for events, pay for seminars, and then oftentimes they're not gonna be a pitch fest either, right? The other ones are just, the free ones are more to get you there so they can pitch and sell you on the higher level stuff. You pay for it, they're gonna give you a lot more value in terms of the content and what you're gonna receive from that. Most events you're gonna to have to travel to. You know, I live in Vancouver, Canada. There's some seminars and events here, but most, I gotta go down to California, I'm going to an event in Australia this year. Uh, I've gotta to go to New York, I've gotta to go to Toronto, wherever, you know, you gotta to travel to events too. That's just part of the process, um, and, you know, part of the experience. But again, you're getting out your, outside your environment. I, that's what I love about it. You know, I love getting outside my environment, going to a, a different part of the world and learn and grow and be around like-minded people and you meet people from all over the world. I've got friends that I've met from seminars from all over. It doesn't matter where I go, I can connect with people because I probably met them at a seminar or event that I attended. And so uh, that's another great thing that I love is just the connections you, you, you make from all over the world, um, which is also very powerful. So uh, I wanna encourage you guys, go to events, go to seminars, go to ones related to business or marketing or self-development or health or fitness, relationships, spirituality, commit yourself to life mastery. You know, I'm going to Tantra retreats and meditation retreats and business seminars and fitness things and you know, all these different things so that I can continue to grow and evolve. And again, that's one of my favorite ways to transform, right? I read the books, I watch the videos, all that as well. But again, if you wanna really go to the next level, attend, to, attend a seminar or an event. The event that I had, you know, people came in and I had people that were crying afterwards, sharing how much it made an impact in their life and um, how much their life transformed for the better because of what they have learned and being around it and how powerful it was for them. So, man, I, I can recall the same for events that I've attended. It's the highest of highs 
that I've experienced where I've been the happiest or the most on fire is because of an event and seminars that I've attended. So go to them guys, we'll change your life. Um, I'm hosting some events throughout the year. You have to be on my email list to be notified of them because again, they do sell out the events that I have and I can't do that many either. I'm doing more mastermind events and high level stuff. Smaller group of people, more personalized, more intimate types of things. But if you're on my email list, you'll often get notified of it. There'll probably be a link below to subscribe to my list. But that's the best way for me to share them with you. And um, you know, depending where you are, I might you know do some events in different places outside of Vancouver as well. But often a little bit more challenging to especially do bigger things when you travel because you know you need you need help. I can't just put on an event by myself I need people to run the logistics and registration and and uh, you know organize things so that I can focus on the speaking the content of that so it's a little bit challenging outside of you know Vancouver that's where most of my team is but uh, you know who knows we're doing some all over but uh, hope to maybe eventually be able to meet you and connect with you at an event and uh, have a chance to shake your hand and give you a hug and and uh, be able to serve you at a much deeper level as well so who knows Hope uh, we can uh, cross paths at an event one day. But that's it for this video, guys. Just want to share that real quick. Not real quick. This is a, a 16 minute video. <laughs> Always ends up going a lot longer than what I expected when I hit the record button. But wanted to get across some important things with you guys that I think could uh, help you and some uh, distinctions that I've had. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment below. And uh, subscribe for more videos. Take care.